Hey guys, this is here, and to review the Lego Ninjago Movie Ninjago City Chase set. So, this is the box here. So, uh, you yeah, see, it's recommended for just 7 or 14. And this is set 70607. Comes with five minifigs, uh, which are Lloyd, Nia, Shark Army, Tuck, Ham, and also. Officer Toki, I believe uh, that's how you pronounce his name. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, uh, so the top shows you all the figures and also the actual size. Uh, nothing on the on the sides, but uh, you just have this artwork, which is just the front of the box. But yeah, uh, so the back shows you all the action features and yeah, but aside from that, that's it for the box. So this is the instruction manual here, and yeah, uh, so you can see this is the first page, and uh, this is the final page, and you also got this nice poster right here, and uh, you have all the sets from the same wave, which is the first wave uh, uh, for the Ninjago movie, and you got all, all the sets inside here. And yeah, uh, you also got this Lego.com slash Ninjago movie, the Ninjago movie video game, a lot of advertisements actually. And you also got this one Lego World's Lego Ninjago movie. You can unlock uh, this uh, uh, tuk tuk, and yeah, uh, and you know, just uh, let just you have just this thing right here. But I don't I don't play Lego World, so yeah, it's useless for me for me. But you got uh, the Lego Ninjago, the ride at Legoland, and you also have uh, all the parts lists. And yeah, but aside from that, that's it for the instructions. So uh, these are all of the extra pieces here. Uh, so. Uh, you got this plate piece in uh, brown, and you got three uh, or four of these uh, cheese loaf pieces in different colors. And yeah, uh, these ones they look pretty cool. And uh, you also have this printed towel piece, which is the uh, can top piece, and it comes with a uh, blue and uh, red studs. And you have uh, this extra cherry. Uh, you have this transparent uh, towel, a uh, lightsaber hilt in black. You got this uh, gold piece, which is a new newer piece, and you also got this uh, tire piece, which is surprising. But yeah, you just have this handcuffs, and you also have uh, this uh, antenna towel piece. But uh, yeah, like aside from that, that's it for the extra pieces. So first off, uh, Mayfix, this is uh, Lloyd here in his uh, school outfit, and yeah, so he has uh, this soda right here, which uh, has the same printed piece that I shown you just now, and yeah, no, uh, no printing on the cylinder piece, which is kind of, kind of unfortunate, but yeah, uh, you have uh, his nice hair piece, and yeah. Uh, so the torso printing, uh, you have his uh, white undershirt and you got uh, this zip right here, you got two uh, pockets and you got the belt and you got uh, two pockets uh, on his legs and yeah, uh, so the back you got this hoodie here and yeah, uh, it does have a double sided face which is this kind of normal nothing face but uh yeah like aside from that that's it for Lloyd. So the second figure here is Nia in her school outfit as well. Uh so she has uh her uh, smartphone which is a uh a piece uh it's not a new printed piece but yeah it's still nice to get and yeah it does look uh, pretty cool and yeah so uh you can see she has uh, her hair piece, uh, she has this ponytail right here, and yeah, uh, I believe it is exclusive to her, so yeah, uh, that's definitely great. So, uh, the the torso printing, uh, you got uh, her jacket with all the pockets and pouches, and yeah, you got her uh, stripe shirt under there, and she does have a belt, and her 
uh, her pants here. Uh, she has uh, all these uh, pockets and also uh, these uh, damaged parts. And, but yeah, uh, so she does also have her boots and yeah. So the back, you her you got her uh, annoyed or angry face. And yeah, the back torso printing is uh, just pretty simple. You got the striped shirt and. Yeah, I got some linings, creases, but uh, yeah, like, aside from that, that's it for Nia. So, the third figure here is the uh, Shark Army Tuck. So, yeah, he he comes armed with this uh, Taurus hammer with a uh, fish. And yeah, um, looks a bit weird, but yeah, still, uh, it's pretty creative. But yeah, um, so, yes, he... Uh, his he got this a uh, hat tough thing here which is just a crook hat but yeah uh so his face you got a uh, an eye patch right there and yeah uh the torso is uh, pretty generic you have all all the pouches uh all uh this jumpsuit and yeah uh, you got the belt and you got all the knee pads and stuff and yeah uh just uh, pretty uh I, I believe they are all the same, but uh, yeah, so the back you got this two of these wraps and also all of these pouches But uh, yeah, like aside from that, that's it for the shark army tub So the four figure here is ham. So he has uh, this $100 uh, money piece and yeah, uh, it's a very common piece. Uh, it's very common in Lego City, but yeah, um, so he has this uh, hat right here which is, uh, I believe, new mode for Lego Ninjago movie, and yeah, you got his uh, scared face right here, no alternate expression because there's uh, nothing to cover it up, and yeah, um, the torso printing, uh, it's, uh, you know, looks pretty cool, uh, looks uh, very Japanese, but yeah, um, you have all these, uh, all these stains right here, you know, all these uh, dirty parts, but yeah, and uh, the the leg print thing, uh, you have uh, this belt stuff thing, and yeah, um, the back, uh, you have all these uh, stains and stuff like that, and two of these uh, linings right there, and yeah, uh, the back, it's uh, very simple, but uh, yeah, like, uh, aside from that, uh, that's really it for ham. Last but not least, this is Officer Toki, and yeah, uh, so he comes with uh, this uh, handcuffs here, and yeah, um, so he has uh, this helmet here, which uh, is not a new helmet, uh, I believe, and yeah, I believe it's uh, it belongs to uh, the uh, the bad cop from a uh, Lego movie, and yeah, but. Uh, so you got this uh, just serious face and the uh, torso uh, it, it also belongs to uh, uh, the back cop and yeah but the, you just have the super secret police uh, logo and you got this um, speaker type thing and you got two of these zips and you got the belt sadly no leg print thing but uh, uh, no alternate expression and yeah uh, so the back you just have this walkie talkie you got this uh, you got this wire going through here, and yeah, uh, and you just have some linings, and yeah, the, you just have the belt. But um, yeah, like aside from that, that's it for Officer Toki. So first off, a uh, build here. Uh, this is the police tuk tuk. So uh, you can see the front. You have uh, this headlight right here, and you have two of these uh, lights. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what. Uh, what lights they are, uh, they could be sirens maybe, but yeah, uh, so you have this uh, front wheel right here uh, at the middle, and you have uh, this sticker uh, on both sides, uh, forgot what, uh, I forgot what uh, it, it means, but yeah, uh, so the top you have uh, this police sticker, and yeah, it just shows you that uh, this tuk tuk uh, belongs to the police and you have these sirens right here and they do look uh, pretty cool they are in a very nice position and yeah um so you got uh these side mirrors right here and yeah um and you also have all these uh bars uh which you know uh, they kind of like hold up the the build but 
yeah they are just uh, meant for decoration and yeah uh, the back you have uh, this police uh, license plate and you got the tail light and you got this window thing right here uh, there's two pieces of them and you got the back wheels and you got this uh, tile piece and in uh, inside uh, you just have uh, this um, uh, this thing this control stick and yeah uh, you can just put in uh, officer Toki and you also got uh, got a clip right there which is definitely a very nice inclusion and you can clip on the handcuffs and you can uh, sit um, officer T uh, Toki in and yeah he fits in there pretty nicely and uh, he has a lot of headroom and yeah um uh, these bars they are supposed uh, to you know let the the ninjas uh, hold on to the side of the tuk-tuk so you know they can uh, take a quick uh, ride and yeah but uh, like aside from that that's it so uh, these are the lampposts uh, built here um, so they are uh, connected uh, by the this uh, chain thing and yeah um so on the chain you have uh these um lanterns and yeah um you can see they are you know they are not aligned uh, very well so yeah it's really hard to put them in like the the exact same position so yeah but and uh you also can't stretch them uh like right at their like end so yeah but um uh you have uh, these plate pieces at the bottom here, you know, to hold up uh, the lampposts because if you put them, put the lampposts uh, just on their own, they will just fall off. And you also have all these um, uh, signs right here, which um, I'm not sure what they say, but yeah, they are in Ninjago language. And you also have uh, this lantern, which uses a minifigure head in uh, translucent red. And yeah, that's uh, definitely a nice inclusion, uh, nice to get. And yeah, uh, I like how they stack up uh, all these. And yeah, they do look uh, pretty cool. And yeah, it is supposed to, you know, like uh, they uh, the, the figures they are supposed to, you know, climb on these things, and you know, to get their like to get the quickest route and do all parkour and stuff like that. But yeah, it, it this thing just doesn't hold this the hold the figure up, and yeah, it just kind of sucks. So yeah, um, it, it it's better if you just leave this thing alone. So yeah, but uh, like aside from that, that's it. So uh, the final build here is uh this market uh food stall, and yeah, so you can see you got this sign right here, which. I believe it says something about food and you know maybe a stall I guess but yeah uh and you have uh this red awning thing here and yeah it's uh it's on this piece and you know you have a uh, three of these pieces right here and uh yeah so uh you have uh two of these signs on the on the side which just shows you uh what uh, he's selling and you have uh this um light thing here which you can kind of move it around but yeah all these they are very fragile so yeah they're very easy to fall off but yeah um so you got the fish on the left and uh the cherries on the right and yeah these things they uh they are kind of angled uh by this piece and yeah, um, you, you can you can kind of move it around, I guess, and you, know, you can pour it, these things if you want to. But yeah, um, it's just there. But you know, uh, they they are just there to make the make the angle. And yeah, um, so in inside the stall, you got nothing really in there. Uh, but you just have uh this this thing this the this column thing holding uh, it up and yeah it's there just to uh, make a decoration and yeah uh, you have uh, this table thing right here and you can just put a ham right here and yeah he just uh, looks nice there but yeah and the last build you just have uh, this um, uh, this apples and yeah, uh, they are in they are in this uh, basket type of thing, and you know uh, this thing is also angled so to make the the you know the angle uh, 
of uh, kind of like market style stuff and yeah but um, like aside from that uh, that's uh, pretty much it for all of the builds so overall conclusion of this set here so how did I think of it uh, well the figures uh, they are definitely the uh, reason why people are buying the set uh, because you get two uh, main characters in just such a cheap set and you get them in their casual outfit they are exclusive to the set and yeah, it's uh, definitely great. I do like their detail and yeah, uh, they they are just nice. And uh, Ham, Officer Toki, and also uh, the Shark Army Tuck, I think they are uh, also nice for side characters. And yeah, um, uh, all the figures, I think they are definitely great. And the builds, um, I would say the worst build in the entire set is probably the Lamp Post. Um, I like the lampposts uh, themselves. The only thing that I hate is that um, the this uh, chain part. Uh, you know, it just it just doesn't work really. And yeah, uh, if you try to pull this, it just falls off all, all the time. And yeah, it's a uh, really annoying, I'll say. And yeah, it's just really terrible. But uh, the the stall itself, I think um, it's all right. It's just that. It's uh, very bland and very boring, but yeah, it's it's still nice. And uh, like the the best build in the entire set is uh, probably the um, the poly police tuk tuk. And yeah, uh, this this build it's uh, it's definitely like a uh, a different kind of build to all the normal builds that you get in. A Lego set, and yeah, um, not not sure if uh, Lego made a tuk tuk before, but yeah, um, it's uh, definitely the first time that I've seen a tuk tuk in Lego form, and yeah, um, I think they did it uh, very nicely, and yeah, the the build uh, I think is definitely great. So. Yeah, overall, I think uh, the set itself, um, it, it's alright, uh, but I can't complain much because this set is um, uh, like the second cheapest set in the entire Ninjago movie wave. Uh, yeah, not sure why they are uh, putting the price of all these uh, so cheap. But yeah, they are not uh, they are not very cheap, but they are just cheaper than usual. But yeah, like uh, I think um, it, it's definitely nice that they made all, all those stuff cheap, uh, cheaper, and yeah, like um, the set itself, I'll say for price is definitely great. So yeah, overall, I would say I recommend the set. So by for the set uh, down in the description box below, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you very soon.